Has your shop vac just stopped working? Welcome back to Roto Renovations, where today we're going to be learning how to fix a shop vac. Here we go. So the other day I was using my shop vac, flipped the switch, came on for just a second, then it shut off and hasn't come back on. So the first thing we're going to do is unplug it. I'm going to switch the switch to the off position and then we'll take off the top and we'll disassemble it. Using a star bit, I'm going to unscrew the four hole. There's one here, 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 and then one here. Once you have those four screws undone, you can hold the top, flip it over like this, and then it should allow you to remove the motor assembly. Now that we have the motor assembly, we're gonna remove these two to remove the fan shroud. Next, we'll remove the fan by holding the hex washer with a pair of channel locks, and then you can use a ratcheting wrench or another wrench to unscrew the nut. After the nut's removed, the fan should lift off of the shaft of the motor. There's several screws here, here, and here that we're gonna remove, and then we'll remove this top cover We'll also remove these two screws as well. Once you have these screws removed, you can flip it back over and then remove this cover. Now, before we get into removing the actual motor, which will be these two Phillips head screws, there's only two Phillips heads, you can troubleshoot and see if it is the switch. So the first thing we're gonna do is troubleshoot to see if the switch is the problem. All right, so I plug the shot bag back in. The switch is in the off position. I'm gonna check these wires are hot, so you definitely don't wanna stick your fingers in there and get shocked. I'm gonna use my multimeter and check, and you can see over there there's 120 volts coming in. And then I'm going to switch my switch to the on position to make sure that the power is being transferred to the other side and therefore to my motor and you can see that it is so the switch there's no problem with the switch now we'll go ahead and unplug it and then we'll flip it over and then undo the motor All right, so here's where the power comes in. There are a couple brushes here that you can check to make sure that the brushes aren't completely worn down. And if you have your multimeter, you can plug it back in, make sure that the switch is in the on position and just check and make sure that you do have voltage coming into the motor. And then you can check and see these points right here. And you can see that on this side, we don't have any voltage. Now, this right here is a thermal fuse. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug my vacuum. Mm -hmm. And the connection between here and here is broken. So if I take this out, there used to be a thermal fuse, and I'll show you a picture of it that went through here and it bridged the gap between these two pieces of metal. So instead of using the thermal fuse that you have to order online and wait a few days for, I'm just gonna use a regular fuse. To the best of my calculations, when I was looking up fuses and what this vacuum with the amps were and what it should be, a 15 amp fuse is what you should be using. So I'm gonna take the spot that held the thermal fuse, I'm gonna reinsert it back into here and then I'll slide this thermal fuse, this other thermal fuse, back into behind these tabs. The fuse fits, but I'd recommend reinforcing it with a cable tie in order to help hold it in place. Now that the gap is bridged, we're gonna go ahead and reassemble everything and see if we can get this thing to work. If your thermal fuse was blown, there's probably a reason. 
Mine blew because my high efficiency vacuum bag was full and it overheated. If you replace the fuse, make sure you address the reason it blew in the first place. All right, now that we have the top reassembled, let's go ahead and reinstall it. We'll plug it in and we'll see if it works. All right, guys, I hope that helped you out. If you have any questions, comment below. If you like it, like it. Please subscribe and we'll see you next time. Peace and God bless.